Hey guys, I'm back. It's been two weeks since I posted my last tutorial on my channel. And for this week, I am going to make this tutorial for you guys. This is a size for newborn to three months old baby. And this is a mini version of the one that I already made for adult. It's on my channel already. For the flower, I am going to use 16mm rhinestone button and for the yarn i am going to use a baby sports weight yarn i think this is the number three baby sports weight and um it calls fruity tutti okay and i will be using two sizes of hook which is size size g 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and size c 2.75 mm and a scissor and yarn needle okay guys we are going to start with the larger size hook size G um, we are going to make a magic ring wrap around yarn on your finger twice one two then remove the ring and into the ring we are going to make 15 double crochet one two three this three uh, three chains is counted as first double and make 14 double crochet more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay i have the total of 15 double crochet into the ring two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen now we are going to close the ring we have two strands the one from outside and the one from inside the one from inside we're going to pull that halfway from from left to right pull it halfway and then pull the tail this is the tail pull it nice and tight okay now the ring is secured And we are going to join it with slip stitch into the on top of the beginning chain three. One, two, three. We're going to join it with slip stitch there. And into the same stitch as joining, we are going to make one front post single. And make a chain two. And we are going to make one front post double crochet in each double crochet around. One, two, three, four. five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I have the total of fifteen front post double crochet, including the beginning, um, beginning chain two. Okay. Now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain two. Join it with slip stitch there, and then make one front post single crochet into the same stitch as joining. 
and make a chain two and make one double crochet in between the first and the second front post double one double crochet there and then one front post double crochet into the next front post one double crochet in between the two front post one front post double crochet into the next front post one double in between the two post okay go go ahead and complete your round by repeating this one front post double into the next front post and then one double in between the two front posts then front post double one double go ahead and finish your round and i will meet you for the joining before we are going to join we still need to make one double crochet in between the last and the first uh, front post double okay make one double crochet there and then join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain two and i have the total of 30 double crochet 15 of the front post double and then 15 of the double crochet itself okay now we're going to make one front post single into the same stitch as joining and then make a chain two and in between the first front post double and the next double crochet we are going to make two double crochet one two and we're going to skip the next double and into the next front post double we're going to make one front post double and make two double crochet in between the double and the front post okay guys two double crochet skip the next double front post double into the next front post and two double crochet in between the double in the front post now skip the next double front post double into the next and two double crochet in between the front post and the double crochet okay go ahead and repeat this around skip the next double one front post double into the next front post and in between of the front post and the double crochet make two double crochet go ahead and repeat this around and i'm i will meet you before the joining now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain two and i have the total of 45 stitches around for the next round make front post single into the same stitch as joining and then make a chain two and in between the front the first front post and the next double we are going to make three double crochet one two three and we are going to skip the next two double crochet and make one front post double crochet into the next front post and make three double crochet in between the front post and the next double one two three now I skip the next two double front post double into the next and three double crochet in between the front post and the double one two three okay go ahead and repeat this around skip the next two double front post double into the next front post and three double crochet in between the front post and the double crochet go ahead and finish your round and i will meet you for the next round all right i finished my round and to join join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain two and i have the total of 60 stitches around 
For the next round, make a front pull single into the same stitch as joining and make a chain 2 and make 4 double crochet in between the first front pulse and the double crochet over here. This is the first front pulse and this is the next double. We're going to make 4 double crochet 1, 2, 3, four and we are going to skip the next three double and make one front post double into the next front post and then four double crochet in between the front post and the double one two three four now we skip the next three double and front post into the next front post and make four double crochet in between the front post and the double one two three four okay go ahead and repeat this around skip the next three double front post double into the next front post and then four double crochet in between the front post and the double go ahead and repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining I finished my round and I have the total of 75 stitches around and to join, join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 2 and for the next round, make one front post single into the same stitch as joining and make a chain 2 and make 4 double crochet into the in between the first front post and the next double one two three four now we are going to skip the next four double crochet and make one front post double into the next front post and make four double crochet in between the front post and the next double one two three four skip the next four double crochet front post into the next front post and four double crochet in between the front post and the double one two three Four. okay guys go ahead and repeat this around and I will meet you for the joining I finished my round and I join it with slip stitch into the beginning chain 2 and for the next round we are going to repeat this last round that we just finished until you have the measurement of 5 inches long from crown to the bottom from crown to the bottom okay 5 inches long by repeating this last round and don't forget to begin each round with um, front post single and chain 2 alright go ahead and finish your 5 inches long and then when you finish I will show you how to do the brim guys I finished my 5 inches long I have 5 inches long from crown to the bottom okay now we are going to start for the brim make a chain one and single crochet into the same stitch as joining single crochet into the next and go ahead and make one single crochet in each stitches around with a total of 75 single crochet and i will meet you for the next round all right to join, join it with slip stitch into the beginning single and for the next round make a chain 2 and make half double crochet and each stitches around
go ahead and make one half double crochet into each stitches around and I will meet you for the next round okay I finished my half double crochet around and I join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 2 for the next round make a chain 1 and make one front post half double crochet into the next half double and then back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post into the next front post into the next go ahead and um, finish your round doing this alternately back post and front post Go ahead guys and finish your round and then I will meet you for the next round. Okay guys, I finished my round and to join, we are going to skip the chain 1 and then we are going to join it into the first front post half double, okay? Skip the chain 1 and then join it with slip stitch on top of the first front post. Okay? and then make a chain one and front post half double crochet into the same front post back post half into the next front post half into the next back post front post go ahead guys and repeat this around and when you finish you can close your work and then cut your yarn and make sure to leave extra length when you're cutting your yarn so that you have enough length to wave the tail later on okay go ahead and finish your round and close your work when you finish this round and I will show you how to make the flower alright I finished my last round and to join join it with slip stitch on top of the first half double and we can close our work here cut the yarn okay so I have tail here at the end and I have one from inside so later on don't forget to wave that and now we are going to proceed for the flower okay guys for the flower using the smaller size hook we are going to make a chain of five one two three four five and then join it with slip stitch into the beginning chain to form a ring and make a chain one and into the ring we are going to make 12 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay now join it with slip stitch into the beginning single make a chain one and single crochet into the same stitch and make a chain three now you skip the next single and make single crochet into the next chain three skip the next single single crochet into the next chain 3 skip the next single single crochet into the next chain 3 skip the next single single into the next 
one two three skip the next single single into the next one two three okay one two three four five six we should have six chain three spaces now join it with slip stitch into the beginning single and slip stitch into the first chain three space and make a chain two and into the same space make three double crochet one two three and then make a chain two and slip stitch into the same space now slip stitch into the next chain three space make a chain two and three double crochet into the same space one two three chain two and slip stitch into the next into the same space and slip stitch into the next chain three space and chain two okay repeat this around finish your petals and i will show you how to go to the next round okay i have my six petals and i end up with chain two there and to finish the last petal we are going to slip stitch into the very last chain of the chain three okay and then we're going to make a chain of four and we are going to make one single crochet into the into the space between the two petals and chain four single crochet into the next space chain four single crochet into the next chain four go ahead and complete your round okay now to join join it with slip stitch into the first join it with slip stitch into the first chain of the first chain four and then slip stitch into the chain four space and make a chain two and into the same space we are going to make five double crochet one two three four five make a chain two and slip stitch into the same space slip stitch into the next chain two five double crochet into the same space one two three four five chain two slip stitch into the same space and slip stitch into the next space chain two five double crochet into the same space three four five chain two slip stitch into the same space slip stitch into the next space chain two five double crochet into the same space chain two slip stitch into the same space and slip stitch into the next space chain two Two, three, four, 
5, chain 2, slip stitch into the same space, slip stitch into the last chain 5, chain 4 space, and then chain 2. And 5, double crochet. chain 2 and now we are going to slip stitch into the very last chain of the chain 4 chains okay slip stitch into the very last chain now we completed the second round of the petals and make a chain 5 And we are going to make one single crochet in between the two petals. Chain 5. Single crochet in between the next two petals. Chain 5. Single crochet chain 5 single crochet in between the two petals chain 5 and single crochet in between chain 5 now join it with slip stitch into the very first chain of the first chain 5 so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have 6 chain 5 spaces okay slip stitch into the same space and then make a chain 3 and into the same space make three treble wrap around yarn on hook twice insert hook into the same space pull through two loops pull through two loops pull through two more times okay i have three treble and now we are going to make a picot make a chain three and slip stitch on top of the last treble now we have the picot and then three treble into the same space one two three and make a chain three and slip stitch into the same space okay now we have the first large petal now slip stitch into the next space and chain three 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 ball into the same space one two three and then make a picot one two three slip stitch on top of the last treble and three treble into the same space and make a chain three and slip stitch into the same space now slip stitch into the next space chain three okay go ahead and repeat this around complete your um six petals and i will show you how to join the flower I, I mean how to join the the last round okay guys to finish the last petal i end up with chain three and slip stitch into the same space now we can close our work here and then cut the yarn make sure to leave a long length of yarn to use for attaching it into the into the hat okay
Now guys, with the rhinestone, we are going to attach it in the center using the yarn needle and a piece of yarn. Okay, now I can show you how to join the flower into the hat. Okay guys, go ahead and position your flower into the hat. And this is how I join it. We're going to sew it here. do it twice or three times I do it twice only and now I am going to run the needle into here into this petal I'm going to run it there all the way to the center to give it a, um, a clear joining okay now you cannot see it there or anywhere because it is hiding now we are going to sew the center here again can you see it guys we'll do it twice again and i am going to run through here again to go to the next center And I'm going to sew it here. And I will run it into this through this next petal again. Make sure not to pull when you run it through the next petal make sure not to pull your yarn too tight do it to the next petal Well, this is how I join mine, guys. So, if you have any better idea of joining the embellishment to your hat, then just go ahead and do it. Um, we have one last more. Okay, now I am going to wave the tail at the back. We go to the back of the last petal. We are going to wave it through here. Wave it back and forth two or three times. Okay. 
I do it one more time. Okay. Okay. Now, if you look at the back, you cannot see the the yarn at all. It's clean. And this is how the hat look like once it once the flowers join. And don't forget to wave the tail of your work for the hat. I have two here, one at the end and one in the beginning. Okay, this is how the hat look like, guys. Yay, we finished one project again. Thank you for joining me, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and subscribe and like and share my video. And... For the next video, maybe I will be making something for a baby boy because now he's a baby girl. And yeah, thank you for joining me, guys, and see you again for the next video. Bye bye.